Start by drawing a horizontal reference line. Now set the sizes of the waist and vent. Select 4 inches for the main and 2 inches for the branch pipe. With the main waist sized at 4 inch, select the reducing Y fitting from the Solid Pipe Designer fitting palette and place it on the horizontal line. Change the main size to 2 inch and add an eighth bend fitting to the branch of the reducing Y. Drag the cursor as required to orient the fitting parallel to the horizontal line. Draw a line from the end of the elbow perpendicular to the horizontal main. Draw a circle from the intersection of the lines and select the end of the fitting to set the radius of the circle. Offset the main waistline by the desired spread. In this example, we'll use 5.5 inches. A typical spread where upright Y fittings are used on 2 inch risers. Draw a line from the center of the circle to the intersection of the circle and the horizontal line. The measured angle is the number of degrees the fittings will need to be rotated to achieve the desired spread. Note that the distance from the end of the elbow to the intersection point must be greater than the branch diameter. This ensures that the branch vent is above the main way center line, a code requirement. After rotating the fittings, erase everything except for the fittings. Draw a route line with a 1 quarter inch per foot slope and align the fittings to the route line. Start a sloped route line at the elbow for the vent line. Terminate with a 24 inch vertical riser. Add a 24 inch vertical to the upper end of the main waist route line. Combine these two route lines together. Now we are ready to complete the assembly by populating the route lines. Since the main size is currently set to 2 inch, we'll auto route the vent first. Change the main size to 4 inch and auto route the main waist. Change to an isometric view to see the completed assembly and then to a left view to see the results of the initial rotation. The front view provides a better view of the vertical piping and the horizontal slope which can be easily seen by drawing reference lines. And here is the final assembly.